everyone. I'm here to present mutual information, deep regularization for semi supervised segmentation. My name is Ji Zhong Peng, and this work is jointly supervised by Professor Belly Soli and Professor De Hozi. We are from ETS Montreal. This is a quick outline of my presentation. First, I will present the semi supervised segmentation context in medical imaging and then I will introduce our proposed method with mutual information. We describe our proposed scheme and show our experimental results. Finally, a conclusion will be provided. Medical image segmentation is a fundamental step for clinical oriented analysis, which is important for visualization, radiotherapy, etc. Segmentation are applied with different image modalities. And here we list an example to characterize a heart by MRI, CT, and neutral star based on the diseases that it may have. Deep learning based methods rely on large data set with pixel level annotation. We show here a 3D cardiac image with its annotation in three dimensions. As one can see, accurate annotation is expensive, hard to collect, and time costing. Usually, multiple experts have to be involved to get a golden standard. We use semi-supervised learning to overcome the scarcity of data. Unsupervised loss is applied to label image with their labels. A typical loss such as size loss, the well-known posanthropy loss can be used. In the meantime, unlabeled images are applied with regularization loss, such as consistency loss, prior enable loss, etc. Before diving into mutual information, mutual information has been utilized in self-supervised learning and deep clustering. This is the first time to involve it in a semi-supervised segmentation. Mutual information is an information metric that measures the amount of information between two variables. Here we leave some four examples with different mutual information. If one variable has no impact on the other, the mutual information between the two is zero. Well, if one variable can be determined by the other, the mutual information is then maximized. It is worth noting that the assignment order of variables does not affect the mutual information. In this paper, we wanted to consider X and Y as two segmentation distributions and maximize the mutual information in two different ways. The first way is to consider X and Y as segmentation distributions under different transformations. Segmentation information must be conserved under different transformations. It is then seen that one segmentation can be joined when the other segmentation under different transformation is given. Here, the coordinate positions of the two distributions are aligned before maximizing the mutual information. The second way is to maximize the mutual information between current patch and its neighborhood. It is believed that one patch can draw information from its neighborhood. The idea behind this assumption is that organs to be segmented are convex and regular, so the overlap between current patch and its neighborhood patches is large. How to capture the mutual information? We use a convolution to construct the joint distribution and then use the joint distribution to maximize the mutual information. For the mathematical details, we invite the reader to check our paper. Our experiments were carried out with three benchmark segmentation datasets with comparison to the state-of-the-art mean teacher and entropy minimization method. We found out that our proposed method brings a significant improvement to the baseline and have slightly better performance to the state of the art method, leading to a full supervision performance. Here are some visual experimental results. Conclusion We propose a semi supervised learning algorithm using mutual information as deep regularization. Mutual information can capture structural information of organs, which are usually under regular shape. The effectiveness of the proposed method is verified on three benchmark data sets getting comparable performance to the state-of-the-art method. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for the attention. I'm here to answer any of your questions you may have.